Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory. I give you honor for the privilege of sh sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. And as you bless them, O oh God, do not pass me by in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Florence Maina, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, this beautiful day. And this is a program of One Word Digital Media. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message will be, Your Honesty and Transparency Will Give You Full Deliverance. <laughs> there are three people you can never write to what you Ah, what you are thinking yourself you can never write to yourself you can never write to God because he knows you and you can never write to the devil because he knows when you are telling a lie and b behind the back he's just crapping when you are telling the eyes because lies because he's the father of all lies it is good to be honest and to be transparent even in the things of God, even when you go to church and you are being prayed for, if you're not feeling okay, it is okay to say, I'm still in pain. Don't just go by the motion, with emotion. My verses of reverence will be from Mark 8. I'm going to read verse 22 to 25 in Jesus' name. They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a bride man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the bride man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hand on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hand on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. May the Lord bless his word. What a word. I thank God for this bride man. He was bride. And he was brought to Jesus, the miracle worker. Oh, I love this man, Jesus. The miracle working God. But what, there are times that Jesus will touch you and you'll not get your full deliverance. Do not pretend. You could be in the midst of people. They receive their full deliverance. It is very easy. You say, I'm also healed. If you are feeling okay, but not completely, be very open. I thank God for this man. When Jesus touched him, he asked him a question. Can you see? And the man looked up and he said exactly what he could see. Yes, I see people, but they look like they are moving around. He did not beat around about the bush. You know, not being honest in our day to day life has led many to be captives of the enemy. You know the kind of life you are living, but you are still saying it is okay. You are asked, how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm not saying that you publish your problem, but when you go before God, to kneel before God, tell him, these things is not working. God touch me again. My spouse is not in order. God touch him or touch her. Because by the way, did you know that you do not have the power to change your spouse, but God has the power. So you can call God to change your spouse. One time God gave me a revelation that you can never take a car to a doctor and you can never take a sick person to a mechanic. When a car has a problem, you take it to a mechanic. When a person is sick, you take them to the doctor. Your spouse belongs to God. When there is an issue, take him to God. When there is an issue with your wife, take her to God. Because arguing with them will not help. They may say, it's okay, it's okay. But you can tell action speaks louder than word. How about in that class you are failing? The teacher is asking me, how are things going? Yes, you can say okay by faith, but when you go before God, tell God, I, this one I'm not understanding. Because God has the power even to make your mind understand what you are not understanding. That's why uh, somewhere in the book of Isaiah says that he gives the language to the, to the fool so that he can communicate the word of encouragement. Whatever you could be going through, learn to be honest with yourself. How about in the issue of finances? You are looking for that house to buy, but you, you know you don't have enough finances. But you are trusting God. Tell God, I desire this house. This is the kind of a house I would like. But I don't have the money. My credit is not okay, but I come to you. I've been tithing. I've been serving you, God. My credit with you is okay. My bank statement realistically says different, but he knew I'm coming. Be honest like this man was. Because when he said that he saw men like moving trees, 
Jesus touched him again. That actually was my main verse. Verse 25. Once more, Jesus put his hand on the man's eyes. When you are honest, Christ will come and touch you again. God will not leave his work halfway. He starts and he completes. Don't be right. If everything else is going on okay with other people, you are not other people, you are yourself. Personal identity is the key thing here. Because this man could have looked around and because people knew he was bride, and at least he could see, and he said, I can see men, but they are like moving trees. He could have said, okay, this is going to be gradual. No, be honest for your full deliverance. Be honest even in the ministry. It's not working. Be honest even when you go before God. I want to tell you that many times I go before God and I feel dry to be honest and when I kneel before God and I tell him I feel empty I feel him downloading what if I pretend you can pray dry, you can preach dry you know it is good to, it is very easy to teach to preach out of experience without the anointing I would rather preach with the anointing rather than out of experience because when the anointing comes, it breaks the yokes of everything. May God help you and me to be honest like this man was and you are going to receive your full deliverance. What will other people say? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny because one time at my place of work, we were running staff and we transitioned from paper staff to electronic and Honestly, it was very hard for me. And uh, <laughs> I requested the manager, can I have a second training? I didn't care what people would say. Of course, some people look like maybe I was dumb. But, uh, you know, I knew what I was doing because I didn't want to pretend that I was okay. And guess what? It was granted. So I'm not talking of things. The, 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 these things are here in the Bible, but they also reflect the life we live. That was several years ago. I am the kind of person, honestly, I don't get things the very first time. And I'm not scared or ashamed to say it because that's me. If you get it the first time, that's for kids. I can never be you. So let us be honest with ourselves. And you always live to be blessed. If I don't know something, I'll say I don't know. Because pretenders are worse than murderers. Because I am who I am. And if I say I don't know this, somebody will come and help me. So even especially in this ministry, technical-wise, seriously, I am not the type. But you are needed there. That's why I'm being honest. Come on board and you'll be a blessing to this ministry. And may the Lord bless you. Let us continue to be honest in all that we do. In our marriages, in our career, in our health. Tell God, even though I'm taking this medicine, it's not working. My body is still in pain. And the Lord who heals will come and touch you again. Remember this bright man was honest and God uh, touched him. May the Lord bless you. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, transparency is the word for this day so that we can receive our full deliverance. Help us, oh God, that man, that woman, that young lady, that young man, in Jesus' name, amen. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord, but you say, oh, I was born in a Christian family. Your family can never save you. It is you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and the uh, salvation is complete. Are you there? You've been giving yourself reason. Be transparent. Say you need the Lord. Do you want to pray this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I just want to be transparent and honest with you. That I, I have never, never come to a personal relationship with you. And here I come. Write my name in the book of life. Give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. Next step, look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your growth. When you go there... Ranch you to the deep. Look for that group of believers that meet as a Bible study, as a seed group, whatever it is. Be a blessing to somebody and somebody will be a blessing to you. Together, we can be strong. And until next time, I'm your presenter, Florence Minor of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. You can continue to listen to these messages and other messages by different anointed servants of God and gospel music 24 7 366 days a year by dialing 563-999-3909. You can also tune in and search One Word Miracle Radio. That way, be smart, even technology-wise, even in the ministry. Using your smartphone, go to your Play Store. It is free. Download the app One Word Digital Media, and it will be a blessing to you. When you are blessed, remember to share with other people. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Last but not least, I want to remind you, in three days, oh, I'll be having an ordination ceremony. As a pastor officially and again I want to 
really thank God for you who have been there. You have really taken the word and many people call me pastor and I kind of shy off. I know I have been called, but you know, I want to follow the protocol and have the seal, you know, being anointed by the servant of God. It, this is going to be in Bansfield, Minnesota and under the leadership of Dr. Charles Karuko of IOC. You are welcome. If you can't come, you can say a word of prayer. If you can't, you can remember and just post a note of encouragement and the Lord will bless you. Thank you.